In this video, I will show you how to render out transparent backgrounds in Blender. So I've just set up this quick little scene right here with a monkey head and I added an HDRI to get some nice reflections and lighting. So I just gave this a quick render and you can see that on default it doesn't render with a transparent background. I have an HDRI to get some nice realistic lighting and so it has that in the background, but even if you didn't have an HDRI, even if you just had a default world with a color, it wouldn't render out with a transparent background. So you have to tell Blender that you want the background world to be transparent. So to do that, you're going to click right over here on the render properties. So right down here in the film tab, you're just going to turn on this transparent button right here. And now you can see that the background is transparent, but you can still see the objects in the scene. And if you're using Blender EV, it's the same thing. So in Blender EV, you click right down here on film, and then it's right there. You can just click on that transparent button. I'm just going to switch back to cycles. So now that the background is transparent, if I just give this a quick render, you can see that sure enough, it's transparent and it has that transparency uh, checker texture right there in the background. Now if you want to save this image, you can just click right here on image and then just click on save as. Now if you want Blender to keep the transparency in the image, then it's very important that you set the file format to PNG. JPEG images can't store the alpha transparency of the image, so if you save this to a JPEG, then there's just going to be one solid color in the background where it normally would be transparent. So make sure that you are saving this to a PNG image. Now the other really important thing is that the color right here is set to RGBA. So RGB stands for red, green, and blue, and B and W just stands for black and white. So if you change this to RGBA, RGBA stands for red, green, blue, and alpha. So it's going to store the alpha transparency. If you just use the default, which is RGB, it's not going to store the alpha transparency. So make sure you turn this to RGBA, and then you can save this image. Now there is one more thing that I want to show you. I want to show you how to composite something into the background. So let's say you've rendered this out and you've rendered it with a transparency, but now you want to add some sort of image or something else in the background. So to do that, you can hop over to Blender's compositing tab after you render the image. And I'm just going to close the timeline and then here's Blender's compositing. So I'm just going to click on the use nodes and that will use Blender's compositing nodes. So this right here, this is the render layers. And so that is the data that we've rendered. So to add something to the background, we need to press shift A and we're going to search for an alpha over node. We'll just take the alpha alpha over node and I'm just going to drop the alpha over node right here. And then if you want to preview this in the background, what you can do is you can hold down the control and shift key and then select a node that is going to preview it. And that is using the feature from the node wrangler add on. So if you don't have the node wrangler add on enabled, you can just click on edit and go over to a blender's preferences. And then over there on the add ons tab, you can search for the node wrangler and then just check mark the node wrangler add on. And then once that add on is turned on, you can hold down the control and shift key and then select different nodes. And as long as the backdrop is turned on, that's going to preview it in the background. Now to be able to put something in the background, I want to take the render layers and I want to put that in the bottom one right here. So I'm going to take the image, put that into the bottom one. And now this top image right here, that is going to be whatever's in the background. So if you want to have a color, that's really easy just to change the colors around like that. Or you could also add data in here. Like for instance, I could search for an image. So I'm going to press shift a search for an image node, and then I will open this up. And I'm just going to grab this free image right here that I downloaded from Pixabay. So I'm just going to select this and then open it up. So I can now take this image and I can just plug the image into this image here on the alpha over. And you can see the image is way too big. So to fix that, I'm going to press shift A. I'm going to search for a scale node and just drop it down here. And then I can just change this from relative to a render size. And there we have it. So using that transparency, we can use an alpha over node and then we can put other things in the background. So that's how you render out transparent backgrounds and also how to save a image with a transparency and also composite things into the background. So I hope this quick tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching.